What's up guys? I'm Rhonda from Dollar Store Crafts and today we're making a faux tie-dye tote bag. You'll need a canvas tote bag. Mine was about $2.50 at a local discount store. Three Sharpies in colors that complement each other and a paper circle. Mine is actually the label off of a roll of duct tape. You'll also need a bottle of rubbing alcohol and a spray bottle to pour it off into. Uh, since we're going to be working with permanent markers, you'll also want to make sure you're on a protected surface and you'll want to slide a piece of cardboard or some newspaper inside of the tote bag to make sure that it doesn't bleed through between the layers. Now, this whole thing took me about 10 minutes per side, so about 20 minutes for the whole bag. You put down the circle and you'll use color A to make kind of a sketchy zigzaggy line around the outside edge of it. Then use color B to fill in inside of that circle and use color C to make another squiggly concentric line outside of it. You'll also use color C to fill in the spaces in between all of the concentric rings of color. And this will create a very tie-dye looking effect. Now, after you get the entire bag colored in, and don't forget to do the bottom, the sides, and the handles, you will take your bottle of um, your spray bottle and fill it up with your rubbing alcohol and spray until the entire bag is saturated. Make sure you get the entire thing very well saturated. Then just let it sit aside and dry and all of the colors will bleed and when it dries you will have a beautiful tie-dye looking bag like this one. So if you like this project, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. And make sure you visit dollarstorecrafts.com.